I think probably the best way to characterize the first 30 days of this entire pandemic was confusion. Uh, and companies were looking to us for answers. So we spent a lot of time uh, not becoming experts on the PPP or the CARES Act or IDLE, but knowing where the experts were and trying to get a good understanding at least of the concepts of those programs. Our first initial focus, like so many other people, was uh, areas, I should say, were to try and maximize the number and amount of federal resources that we could get into our area. And we were doing an awful lot of hand-holding, an awful lot of making sure, we did what economic developers have been doing since we started this profession, and that is making sure they were connected to the right people. We also have been working through our, um, what we call our ICAP program, because as things start to onshore, we know that a lot of our companies could gain a tremendous advantage in terms of capturing some of that onshore work if they had the proper industry certifications, the ISOs and things like that. And we've got someone on staff, in fact, who's the director of our business retention and expansion program, who is a, an ISO auditor. So we adopted a program so that the, he can help companies go through their process, call it a dry run audit, if you will, because he's done the audits, so he knows what these, those auditors work for. And then we've matched the cost of the audit itself up to 50%, which is generally five to $6,000 per, in order to help our companies try to capture as much as we possibly can. Um, more than anything else though, as I said, our job was to connect with, with the banking community over PPP, with the SBA, we did have a local website with all of the information and anything that we could get, we tested and tested and tested and tested. Really important if you Yet if you are the people that is the, the portal for information, you've got to make sure that information is good. You've got to test the website links. You've got to go look at the applications yourself. You've got to look at the programs, read the descriptions. If you need to develop, and we did, uh, facts, uh, frequently asked questions that relate to how it pertains to your area, you do that. We did not email our companies or uh, every day of the week. We obviously did not have our BRNE person going into the plants because of uh, the obvious perils of that, but we were very selective about when we contacted them and with what we contacted them so that we would maintain our credibility. 